Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to Ford Tech. This is Mike. Uh, Mike got a little bit of a question that I think I can answer. Uh, someone emailed me, um, wanted me to show them how to get the uh, seed shield, which I demonstrated in a earlier video. But in the earlier video, I actually used these pins down here and this is on the outer digital rail. Now this person was wondering is there any way you can show me how to use this, the ICSP whoops, excuse me, ICSP, you can see a little tiny word, yep. And he wants to use that, or she wants to use that, I'm not sure the gender there, but um, I can actually show you how to do that and uh, we'll get that taken care of. Okay, so the first thing we're going to start off talking about is the actual seed shield itself. So, you know, obviously, we got a bunch of pins on here, but not all the pins do anything. Um, some of the pins actually don't do anything at all. Um, a few of these up here have absolutely no use whatsoever. The important pins are actually, for us at least, in this case, uh, right in here. That's important to understand. Those are the pins we're actually going to be using. So, as you can see here, D10 is going to be used for our CS of our communication. D11 is going to be our MS, or excuse me, our MOSI, and our D12 is our MISO, our D13 is our serial clock. So, what are those things? Okay, well, basically what those are, are your master in, slave out, master out, slave in, your serial clock, and then your slave select. Or, in this case, your CS is going to be the same thing as your slave select. Alright, so the next step is we're going to have to figure out exactly how to use our ICSP header, this guy right here, and connect to our shield. So we already know how to use our shield and how to get data from our shield. We figured out which pins go from where to where on there. So now the next step is, okay, well, let's figure out the pin out here. So I did a little bit of looking on the internet just to make sure I had these right. And lo and behold, voila! All right, so moving on to the next step here. Uh, as you can see, I have gone ahead and connected my header to my ground and plus five on the power rail there. And on the other side of the shield card, I've gone ahead and connected my pins to the card there. From the actual shield here, you can see there are four. That's your SPI interface. Just a quick look again. Here's the schematic. There's the four right there we're talking about. And quick look again and another quick look over here so that's going to be our reference and here's the chart just to kind of go over everything and one thing to know real quick is right here you notice there is the 53 for the slave select now that's really important to note because that's how we're going to actually get the card to turn on and as you can see I've gone ahead and done that right here here is our CS as indicated in the shield card diagram, but it's the SS or chip select, however you want to, slave select, however you want to look at it. So the next thing we'll do is get the library set up and we'll get this bad boy to communicate. Alright, so after we got everything to connect it, I went ahead and did a little bit of research and I found out that I didn't actually have the latest Arduino compiler. So I went ahead and downloaded the 1.05 release, uh, installed it, and then uh, in there they had an example file uh, called card info. Um, you can find that by going to files, down to example, of course, and come on down here. They got this nice little guy right here, SD. So I went ahead and selected card info. So they got a few other ones to play with in there. And they went ahead and made this really easy for us. So because we're using that um, interface, we're uh, already set up in a manner because the way this is set up is this is broke out from here. So it's already been 
taken care of. Whereas before with the uh, other video I was using Seed Shields header files and it was a mess and this is much simpler, much easier. So all you gotta do is this is kind of similar. I you know I stole this from before but basically all you have to do here is because we're using the configuration differently from before and it actually works much simpler this way. Change that to a 53 and that to a 53 right there. What that's going to do is tell it I want to turn you on. So I went ahead and we'll give it a shot here. So we'll upload it. Alright, so we're done uploading. It went ahead and confirmed. So we'll go ahead and pull up our serial monitor here. Go over here, check it out, and give it a second. There you go. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. Uh, it's been Mike from 4D Tech. Uh, if you like my video, please like, please subscribe. I'll be posting more videos in the future. Have a good